Shrouded in the blankets of clouds, they awaken. This biome is an area of extremely high biodiversity compared to other ecosystems. Biologists estimate that tropical rainforests contain about 50% of the world's terrestrial plants and animal species. Yet, they encompass only about 6% of the world's land area. One of the plant's richest ecosystems come to life. Tropical rainforests are primarily located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The rainforest biome remains warm all year and stays frost-free. The average daily temperatures range from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. As the name implied, tropical rainforests have an average precipitation of 150 mm per month and can receive up to about 2000 mm a year. Rainforest ecosystems are characterized by heavy convectional rainfall, high humidity, lushness of vegetation, and nutrient-rich but shallow soil. These factors give rise to a unique water and nutrient cycle. Soils throughout the tropical rainforest mostly fall into laterite. Laterite is known as well-weathered acidic red clay soils. While the enormous amount of rainfall feeds millions of vegetation and animals, it is also the culprit of nutrition loss, leaching. It is deficient in major nutrients such as calcium and potassium. Most rainforests are structured in four layers, forest floor, shrub layer, canopy, and emergent. Now rainforests are nutrient poor, they still contain lots of life, from fungi to different types of insect. This is the base of the rainforest. Only 1-2% to of light reaches this part of the rainforest because of all the other trees and shrub above it. Little light also reaches this layer. Therefore, trees and shrubs do not manage to grow very tall, and must also grow broad leaves to gather as much light as they can. Also, little wind travels here and humidity is very high. This is the part of the forest forming a thick, roof-like sea of green that shades the rest of the forest. Since there is light here, there is a huge bounty of leaves, flowers, and fruit to eat, which make this is the most populated part of the forest. Everything from monkeys to snakes and some frogs like the red-eyed tree frog and fruit-eating birds such as colorful toucan live here. In this layer, the tallest trees stick out of the canopy. These are the biggest trees, reaching heights over 60 meters tall. One of the largest contributors to the region's economy is the export of timber. Trees are a treasure for the Peruvian jungle. Mahogany, teak, chestnut, walnut, Rosewood and ebony are valued for their beauty and hardness. Agriculture represents an important part of the economy of the region too. Products including bananas, soybeans, cacao, coffee, and maize are produced in land that has been cleared, and most of it is produced for exportation. However, more than half of Earth's rainforests have already been lost due to the human demand for wood and arable land. Rainforests that once grew over 14% of the land on Earth now cover only about 6%. And if current deforestation rates continue, these critical habitats could disappear from the planet completely within the next 100 years. Every minute, thousands of forest trees are cut down for use in buildings, constructions, furniture, flooring, and roofing works. The average damage resultant of logging interests account to 10 to 15%. However, through educational campaigns, sustainable logging practices, and cooperation with local communities, deforestation may begin to slow down, helping to preserve rainforests for many generations to come. <laughs>